tutorial of Speak English Right. We'll be focusing on aspects of body language in today's episode. For starters, body language in public speaking is basically the way you present yourself when you're giving a speech. When a speaker has appropriate body language, it will tell the audience that he or she is confident and this also engages the audience. Hi everyone, today I'll be giving a speech. Hi everyone, today I'm going to give a speech. One. Now, we'll share with you different methods can use body language to enhance your speech. Firstly, focus on your movement and gestures. Here's an easy formula to remember that will help you avoid any sleepy audience. Knots. Neutral, open, defined and strong. You should begin in a neutral position with hands at your sides. It may be awkward at first, but it looks fine. That keeps you open to your audience, so influence flows freely in both directions. Gesture sparingly using defined, clean and limited hand movements and make them strong. Do these things and your upper body movement will support and amplify what you say. Secondly, take note of your use of space. When you speak in public, a certain amount of space on the stage or floor is yours by right and you should claim it. Leaders know how to project power by the way they stand and move and when you speak, you are a leader. Occupy space in a way that shows you are comfortable within it. Nothing demonstrates confidence like a person who is at ease in their own skin and with their place in the world. In speaking, the stage is your world. Show your audience they can have confidence in what you're telling them by commanding a space around you. Don't overdo it, but don't minimize the area through which you move. Thirdly, know what objects you're dealing with. Stage actors know that good actors use props and bad actors are used by their props. This isn't just a clever expression. Inexperienced performers are confused by what props to use, whereas solid professionals understand that the prop exists to help them define the character for the audience. So they use it in a way that only their character would. When you deal with objects in a presentation, from a remote clicker to a hand out to the slide screen itself, find a way to help the object further your message and its impact. Lastly, be aware of your facial expressions. The face is incredibly important to human experience, from recognizing another person to understanding the subtle clues that underlie motive. The audience depends upon your facial expressions to know what you are talking about. Go to the mirror and work on creating a link between what you are trying to express verbally and how your facial expressions make your meaning as clear as possible. You can try practicing by giving your speech without a sound coming out of your mouth and letting your face do all the communicating. the main points you have to take note about body language. Number one, movement and gestures. <laughs> Number two, use of space. Number three, use of props. I'm using a microphone. Number four, facial expression. That's all for the second episode of Speak English Right. Just remember to practice all these and you'll be sure to bedazzle your audience one day with your amazing body language during presentations. See you in the next episode. Bye!